Hello guys, welcome to another session in Coincep and today we will be talking about how you can trade with the help of India VIX. But before starting the video, if you are new here, you can go in the description, there is a link below. You can successfully download and install your web application of Coincep from there. After successful registration, you will get 25 free tools here that you can use for your trading. Okay, again, in the learn section, we have a video library. So in the video library, there are multiple uh, videos on various pro plus tools and strategies so you can use them they are available in multiple languages like english hindi marathi and tamil so you can choose your preference also at any point of time if you are having any kinds of doubts or query so you can go in the profile section in the profile section we have support so our contact number and email id is there so you can contact us and we will be there to sort your queries out right now moving ahead to today's topic that is how you can trade with india wix so let's start okay now before going for how you can trade but what is india vix right so what is india vix now india vix is the uh, you can say it it is the uh, volatility index okay so it is the volatility 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 right volatility index so what it does it shows you the total volatility of the index or the market right now you cannot actually you cannot trade in this you cannot trade in india vix okay so it generally shows you like what will be the volatility of the overall market if there will be uh, you know fluctuations or the market will be intact it will be in sideways direction or there will be a choppy market okay so that it what uh, that is all it does right now if I'm talking about India VIX, so generally you can see right now the India VIX is 13.10, I guess approximately right now it is trading at uh, somehow it uh, somehow uh, at 13.10, right? It means now the market in the upcoming times in the next 30 trading sessions, the market can go, the market can gain a profit of 13%, okay? Or if it will go in the negative direction, so it will give you a loss of 13% right so it is based on the annualized profit okay so it is based on the annualized profit okay now how it is calculated like, like what uh, how we calculate like uh, the india vix is 13.10 percent right so for that let's go in the uh, option chain right now when we are using the option chain so you can see there are some otm price deep otm price and in those deep otm price you can see there is a still some open interest right so you can see when i'm going deep in the otm nifty so i can see there is a still there are some open contracts that is 1,22,525 okay and similarly if you will go deep otm if you will go deep otm here sorry deep otm here in the put side so you can also see 9,62,175 open contracts are there also right now why these open contracts are here where there is a very low premium right so what it does for example when we are trading at uh, when we are uh, the nifty is at the atm price okay so it calculates the open contracts at the deep otm in the uh, call side and deep otm in the put side right so that it gives you a value like how much the market can fluctuates in the near come future in the coming future right so that is how the india vix calculates its value like 13.110 it is right now now some people also plays with it right how because if some seller is making a position at atm price for example a seller is making a position at atm price just to play with the volatility of the market or just to give a fake scenario what it does it will buy a very low premium at very deep otm Okay, so what it uh, it will it will does it will just fluctuate the volatility of the index a little bit, right? So that is how uh, right now many players are using this also. Okay, now if I'll give a scenario, for example, when uh, there was a COVID. Okay, so at that time you must have seen the India the India VIX gone up to eighty two percent. Up, up to 82 okay in uh, just 10 to 15 days. So 10 to 15 days from 13 to 14 it went up to 82, right? And in the upcoming two or three days, it just fell down from there, right? So how can we predict this? How can we trade with this India VIX? Okay, now let me tell you. For example, if your India VIX is moving in the upward direction of, uh, suppose it is about 25 or 30. So at the time, what generally you can do, you can just go for the buying position, 
you can generally go for the buying position okay now because right now the india bix is the uh, at the minimum it is at the lowest right so there will be low risk low risk also the premium will also be low okay the premiums are also low right so if there is low risk the premium is also low okay so there will be some demand generated okay and that is when you have to go with the buying side right and now when it is constantly increasing so at that time what you can do you can just go for the debit strategies debit strategies you don't and you can ignore for the credit strategies okay you have to ignore the credit strategies if you are for this is for the seller's perspective right you can make the debit strategies when it is in the uptrend okay now as we have seen many like for the pcr like uh, also uh, we will talk about implied volatility also so they have a property that they are always are reverting mean reverting right because what they does when they go at a higher level so they will revert them from that point right similarly if my india vix is going continuously in the positive direction so there will be a point from where it will get reversed right so that is the time when you have to go for the selling position or you can make your credit strategies at that time right so this is how india vix work now there is one more term in the option chain that is iv that is implied volatility okay so implied volatility is nothing but the forecasted momentum okay so you will generally see there is a iv at every strike price okay so when we are talking about the india vix so india vix was giving us the scenario of the whole index or whole market of the upcoming 30 days like it can go uh, this much high or it can go this much low but when we are talking about the iv so it is giving us the idea of a particular strike price right now comparing iv and india vix so india vix makes for example india vix so india vix when whenever india vix changes okay so it will impact our iv that is implied volatility right but when implied volatility changes it will not impact your india vix okay so this is a relation that you can get from here right now talking about india vix and iv so we have talked about india vix now let's go to the iv now see generally when we are talking about iv so iv is also mean reverting as india vix okay so if my iv is high at that time what i'll do i'll just go for the selling position just go for the selling position and whenever my iv is low whenever my iv is low so at that time i will go for the buying position right now how how will i identify like at which time the iv is high and the iv is low so for that let's go to the application and in the application you have to go in the analyze section in the analyze section and here we have the iv chart here right wait it is loading analyze and then iv chart okay now iv chart i have already told you right now the india vix is also at 13.10 approximately okay and also i can see here my iv currently of nifty is also trending at 13.65 right 13.65 is it high or low so that we can get from here that is ivr that is the ranking of the implied volatility so right now my implied volatility is very low right so it means there will not be much movement in the market right but the premiums are also low right and i can also see like this is the level from where if my iv will get high so i'll get a good profit if i'll make a directional move if i'll make a directional strategy at this time right so that is why i will make a debit strategy okay i'll buy a i'll buy a high premium of call high premium of call and if i'm selling so i'll sell a low premium or you can say otm call right so this is how you can take the help of ivr okay now there is one more scenario what if my iv is greater and like uh, for example this is the maximum value of iv right 27.54 and this is the lowest value of iv that is 7.62 okay now at any point of time if my implied volatility implied volatility will be near to 27 for example 24 or 25 so at that time i'll generally go for the buying position i'll go with the writing okay now one more question if i can find direction from india vix or implied volatility so the answer is no okay it it uh, tells you about the momentum in the market will there be a momentum or not but it will not tell you about the direction there can be a momentum in the upside also or there can be a momentum in downside also 
right so for example as i have told you the uh, example of covid okay so at the time when uh, the 82 when the india vix reached 82 okay and after it fell so our the premium from 8000 uh, 12000 12800 it fell to 7500 okay so you can see that was the time when you have to sell in the market okay because at that time the india vix what uh, was at the peak right so this is how you can trade with the india vix okay now uh, uh, after getting the idea of the momentum like uh, if there will be a good momentum or uh, uh, if the market will be choppy or there will be no momentum then you have to go for the direction of the market okay now once you get to know like there will be a momentum in the markets okay so then you can go in the trading section and uh, in the trading section we have option architect right now if there will be a good momentum in the market the market is directional then you can go for the bullish side or bearish side okay if you are having no scenario like you don't know where the market will go then you can go with the either ways so there are multiple strategies like you can uh, go with the guts straddle and strangle right and if you think that there is a very low uh, volatility the india vix is very low and you can see the nifty is also having the iv of 13.65 that is very low right now okay so that time you can go with the oscillate okay so that the market can the market will be moving like this okay between two levels so at that time you can make certain strategies like calendar call calendar put diagonal call and diagonal put these type of strategies right so you can go through it once okay so this was all about india wix and the implied volatility right so implied volatility is directly connected with india wix if india wix changes so it will impact our iv also like uh, for example you are trading in a particular stock so that is stocks options will also be get impacted but if there is a change in iv that uh, you can see it changes uh, day by day as your time value as your time value increases with the uh, date till expiry okay so for example right now if uh, the premium is 30 okay and it was monday now on tuesday the iv from 18 to the iv gets from 18 to 20 so at that time your premium will also increase it will get from 30 to 32 because when your iv is increasing so your premium will also increase right on you can see on wednesday your iv increases from 20 to 21 so your premium will also increase from 32 to 33 right but at this time your time value will also increase right for example your time value was at that time was 30 on monday so on tuesday your time value will increase from 8 to 10 it means your premium will decay at this rate at the time value right so as you will go near the expiry so your time value will also increase that will be uh, that will be uh, you know somehow decaying your theta and decaying your premium right so this was about the time value india vix and implied volatility and how you can successfully trade with it right so thank you so much guys uh, this was all for today's session this is your train ankit singh rawat have a good day